Hey guys, Luke here, back to Season 2, Episode 1 of my Liverpool FC career mode. Now, if you haven't gone and seen uh, Season 1, go back and have a look at that. Uh, it's pretty entertaining, I think. Um, a pretty good season, so I'll just give a little brief overview of everything that's happened. But before we do that, just look at our budget. We've got about $45 million. So we've got a fair bit of, of a budget. Not that I plan on spending like huge amounts of, uh, of money at this sort of stage. I think we've got a pretty good squad. Now, last season, a little bit disappointing in terms of the fact that we didn't win any titles or anything like that. Um, no cups, nothing. Um, do get to the final of a few, I think the FA Cup maybe, or Cup of One Cup, one of them. Um, and saying that, we have we have a chance very, very early on. Not in this episode, the start of next episode, we have the Community Shield. Our first uh, chance at silvery, uh, Silverware. Sorry. Um, in terms of like last year, was I happy with it? Yes, I was. Um, we did come second. And obviously the goal this year is to just get some sort of silverware, whether it be uh, Champions League, which we're in this year, um, FA Cup, Community, um, Community Shield, whatever, any, anything, Capital One Cup, just just anything really. But uh, you, can go, you can see that I'm going through here, just trying to get rid of a lot of the Deadwood, and uh, I'm trying to see any people with potential I can send online, but people like Asaidi, um, Aspas, not really interested in keeping them. Um, Kawatas, there's, there's a few people like Alberto you're seeing here, Wisdom. Who I think I might send them on loan or whatever, but uh, you know I'm not, they're not really going to feature in the first team. Elori, uh, definitely a chance. We see wisdom here; he's just not progressing at the speed that we would have liked. Even at Origi, um, I'm str sort of struggling to think where I want to play him. I think he'll probably end out uh, end up on loan. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Elori straight up, but I'm definitely looking to um, send him out on loan at some stage. Uh, maybe just wait until we uh, get a few. Um, extra center backs in the squad or whatever before we send him out because I mean if we don't have enough backup there's no point in me sending out all these people on loan although we do have a lot of money there um, so you can see some pre-contract player arrivals uh, that being Toulon coming from AS Monaco he's a CDM um, very much needed I think um, not in terms of fact he's going to be a super important player but we need more depth I think he's about 85 rated or so um, so he's pretty good pretty decent and uh, with Lucas leaving last year we don't have a solid out and out CDM. Uh, we had, you know, we've had Gerard playing there a little bit. We've had um, people like Emery Chan playing there and all that sort of stuff, but none of them are actually out and out CDM. So um, pretty nice to actually have a proper CDM there. I see John Flanagan. Uh, he wanted a new contract. Thing is, he went. He wants to go from 25k to 40k, and I'm just not willing to do that at this stage. He's not the first choice left back or right back, and I don't think he will be the first choice left back or right back. Um, he sort of just doesn't fit my plans. He's not good enough with the ball for me, um, although in real life I do like him. Um, you can see here, Coates, they've decided to match uh, what we wanted, which is 2.7. You can see Lovren, it was a little bit of a weird one, he's not the first choice centre back by any means, but he, Fiorentino are pretty consistent with uh, some transfers. I'm not sure how many are shown here, but they at least came in like two or three times for him. And uh, I think I wanted 20 million the first time, but then I think I ended up going to 18 million. And we'll have to see what happens. Um, and Varane, he got a fair few offers from uh, people like Chelsea and I think some people like PSG and that sort of stuff. Maybe even uh, Madrid. And I just wasn't interested in um, letting him go. But you can see there, uh, Lovren, um, they, they accepted it. 18 million they thought was okay. And at that stage, I was like, gee, that, gee whiz, that's like a, a really good deal for us. Uh, now, looking at Kevin Bolland, got him... Like, End of, uh, sorry, midway through last year, the January transfer windows, and he didn't feature for us that much. I just didn't find him to be that good um, in terms of ratings, like his his age and that sort of stuff. Um, you know, he seems pretty good, but I, I don't I don't know. He just didn't didn't cut the mustard for me. Um, he's very versatile, which I suppose helps. But at this stage, I'm not really looking for some versatile players. I already got enough people like that. Also, Dybala uh, went out on loan. See Asayidi going. Um, I think. I can't remember who the other one was, but someone else went out um, for transfer as well, I believe. Now, looking into bring Roberto Firmino, and I think we're looking at getting rid of um, Adam Lallana with that, because I just think Lallana, he, he's another one that I really like in real life, but he just doesn't fit doesn't fit the side uh, for us. Now, I'm just showing this game, it's against Barcelona. Uh, Barcelona had two red cards at this stage, so it was pretty crazy for the most part, but you're going to see Neymar is just going to go for here, he's going to try and chip the keeper, he's going to fall back to uh, Iniesta, you see here Iniesta on the ball, and he's going to go through, just just really bamboozling our defence, I think it was Lovren, just couldn't handle him, um, so very frustrating, to, very frustrating to only get a one all draw um, in that sort of stuff, but uh, you can see we're bringing in Begovic uh, for our keeper, 
Uh, I don't want to pay huge amounts. They, they want 120. I'm not going to do that. I'll give them performance-based contracts. So they'll get uh, some pretty decent contracts. Um, but the reason for Begovic coming in, and that's just due to the fact that I think Leno, he just hasn't really been up to scratch in my opinion. Um, I mean, he's been, he's been good at stages. I think when he first came in, he made some pretty crucial saves. But for the most part, just lots of little shitty errors. And I think in the long run, uh, if we keep having those sort of errors, it's just not going to benefit it, benefit us at all. And um, I can really see us, you know, costing us titles, costing us uh, cups, all that sort of stuff. Martinez, he was another one who had a lot, a lot of offers. Him, Sturridge, um, received a lot of offers. I'm not sure if I've showed any Sturridge ones, but yeah. I just decided to say reject all offers, I think. But moving into this game against Schalke, see we're brought down in the box there. I think I'll just grab him the jersey, and then Denny Sturridge is going to step up, and it's going to be saved. He's going to head it home anyways. So we got quite lucky that the ball just bounced all the way up. And I should mention this is the last preseason game, I think, and I'm just going to show the goals because I don't want to waste too much time on these preseason games because pretty much I'm just playing like reserve sort of sides. And you see Huntelaar just turned around and just belted his shit out of that ball. It was just that was such a frustrating goal because it's one of those ones where you feel like you can't do anything about it. Um, it was just it was just going in all the time. Same as this one, Huntela. Like that's two perfect strikes, and I know Huntela is a great player and all, but like come on, like th those goals he scored, just no way. Um, so no shocker, they have a lot of uh, good young players, and you know I, I can really see them having a great year as well as us having a great year. But uh, a three-one loss it was in the preseason. I'm not too concerned. It's not really that big of an issue. But you see here, uh, we got two. Um, confirmed transfers. Aspas going on a deal plus five million for Begovic. So pretty happy with that. He'll be our first choice keeper. And the liner with fifteen million going for Firmino. Now I don't know if that's the best move, but um, you know I was pretty happy to uh, try and get in another can that's sort of similar to Coutinho. Maybe not exactly like like for likes, but you know still pretty good. Now Kabaya, he was in bad form. He's unhappy. We uh, did get an offer from Real Madrid, and um, yeah, we're going to accept that and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but that's where the episode is going to end. Hopefully, I've enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, you can drop a like. Come back for episode two. Very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, if we can get five likes, it'd be very much appreciated. And I'll see you next episode, guys. Bye.